PCOS is one of the most common metabolic and endocrine disorder in women and it affects almost 10% of women in their reproductive age. The diagnosis of PCOS is based on the Rotterdam criteria. So clinically, we would say a woman is struggling with PCOS when she presents with at least two of these three signs and symptoms. The first one being oligo or anovulation. So she, be, she might be someone with extremely irregular cycles or regular periods but she does not ovulate regularly. Secondly, she might present with symptoms of hyperandrogenism. So that is a sign of raised androgen hormones. So symptoms like cystic acne, increased facial hair, male part in baroness, etc. And thirdly, she might have PCOM, so polycystic ovarian morphology. So there is visible cysts on her ovaries on an ultrasound. If a woman presents with any two of the three above mentioned symptoms, it is she is diagnosed with someone who is struggling with PCOS. Now, if you have been recently diagnosed with PCOS, firstly, I would like to tell you that you are not alone. And secondly, the healing of PCOS is not a one size fits all approach. If you've been told that losing weight is going to solve all your problems or maybe going on the pill is the solution, trust me, it is not. Did you even know that there are four different types of PCOS and understanding your type of PCOS is very important to cause a permanent healing for you. So in this video, we're going to discuss these types of PCOS and how can you manage it by yourself and also ways in which you can diagnose yourself. If this is something that you would like to know more about, definitely watch this video till the end. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Zainab Tajir. I'm a homeopathy consultant and psychological counselor based in Pune. I create videos around balancing hormones and improving fertility and I specialize in helping women heal their hormones and couples conceive naturally through homeopathy and holistic lifestyle changes. So if you fancy content around this, do consider subscribing to my channel. So as already mentioned, identifying your type of PCOS can make your healing journey with PCOS much, much easier. So the first type of PCOS is insulin resistant PCOS. This is the most common when almost 70% of women struggle with it. In this type, these women present with high insulin levels or hyperinsulinemia in which your body becomes almost numb to the insulin that's circulating in the blood, which causes your pancreas to start releasing more and more insulin. And as a result of this increased insulin levels, there is increased androgen in your body. So your body starts presenting with symptoms like acne, facial hair, etc. And also some of the classic symptoms of insulin resistant PCOS is difficulty in losing weight, more weight around your abdomen or belly region, increased sugar cravings and also brain fog. So if you are somebody who's struggling with these symptoms, it's very important to one, check your HbA1c levels to check how your blood glucose is doing and secondly, check your insulin fasting levels. So insulin fasting levels about 10 milli IU per ml is considered as insulin resistance. So that will really help you diagnose your condition and accordingly you can work on managing your insulin levels better. I have an entire video about insulin resistance and ways in you can manage it. You can definitely check that video here and I'm sure it would be very helpful for you. The second kind of PCOS is the post pill PCOS. This type of PCOS is especially seen in women get off of oral contraceptive pills. So oral contraceptive pill or the 21 day pill like we know of contains synthetic progesterone hormones. When you stop this pill, it causes your ovaries to start releasing more androgens which affects your ovulation and again these increased androgen levels start presenting with symptoms like irregular periods, acne, facial hair, hair fall etc. For most women, after they stop the pill, it can take up to 6 to 8 months to get back to your not natural rhythm of hormones but of course healing is different for everyone but usually if post the pill you are somebody who's following a good lifestyle taking good physical activity and at the same time nourishing your body with the right supplements it's quite possible for you to balance your hormones naturally the third kind of pcos is adrenal pcos now adrenal pcos is primarily a response of chronic stress for women who are extremely stressed and have high cortisol levels, it causes your adrenal glands to release 
a hormone DHEAS which causes raised androgen levels which again exhibits symptoms of PCOS. So in order for you to diagnose this, it's very important for you to run the DHEAS test to understand if that's the problem in your case. And again, managing your stress levels would be very helpful. I do have an entire video about managing stress levels as well. I will definitely link the video I heard. You can watch it to know what you can yourself do to kind of treat your adrenal PCOS. And the last form of PCOS is inflammatory PCOS. In this, women present with chronic inflammation, which causes a problem with ovulation. Now, these women also exhibit symptoms like headaches, joint pains, muscular pains, gut health issues, etc., which are signs which indicate that you have inflammation in your body. And running tests like CRP can help you rule out whether the inflammatory markers in your body are high or not. Now, if you are somebody who struggles with chronic inflammation, it is very important for you one, cut out foods that are high inflammatory, such as refined sugars, maida, processed foods, junk foods, etc. Secondly, you need to work on your gut health because our gut health has a direct influence onto our hormones. I also have a video about gut health and hormones. You can surely refer to that. And it is also important to include supplements like turmeric, omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidants like coenzyme, NAC, etc. that can help reduce the inflammation in your body. So like already mentioned, out of these four, identifying your type of PCOS can really be important on your healing journey. Secondly, we also come across women who can suffer from more than one type of PCOS. So it's not always necessary that there's just going to be one type. Hence, speaking to your doctor, running the necessary tests can be very helpful for you. Now, if you have any more questions related to this, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And also, thank you so much for sticking by till the end. I will see you again next week.